in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail. All the way from uh, the US. Don't get many packets from the US. Um, one of the sellers over there have been keeping an eye on, I think it was one file, had a sale, so then I uh, grabbed another couple of items. So I think I'm to go along with it. A couple of titles I've had my eyes on for quite some time. Um, for two different systems. Always a balancing act, <coughs> balancing the amount of freight per item that you're paying. <coughs> okay, oh, that's a bonus. They're actually in box protectors. Um, something I would actually like for more of my Coleco titles. So, yes, it's Coleco. Um, and I do believe I have a faint memory of playing this version back in the day, uh, but I never owned it. Um, I think it's a reasonable version of the game, but it's by Parker Brothers, so, and it is Star Wars the Arcade Game. And it's in a box protector, which is really nice. These are nice box protectors. And the box looks in pretty good condition in there. stickers on it and things like that, otherwise the box is in pretty good condition. And uh, there's the cartridge. So that looks pretty good. And the manual's in there as well. As I said, it's one of the Parker Brother games I did not have back in the day. Um, <clears throat> I, I said I do have vague memories of playing it, uh, but maybe we didn't get any more copies in or something like that, or just couldn't afford it, of course. Back in the day, I loved the Parker Brothers games for the Coleco version, so very pleased <coughs> about getting that one and looking forward to playing it. So, next, <coughs> also in a box protector, very much appreciated, um, and one I haven't actually played on the Coleco at all, even though I could have on the multi cart, is Bump and Jump. And I've never saw this over here in Australia back in the day. Love that front box artwork. Sorry, the glare of the box protectors. Not helping you guys there. I'm definitely going to have to get more of these box protectors, but love that artwork. <coughs> That's in very good condition. Quite a bit more colourful than some other Coleco boxes, actually. That was a blue box. And Here's the cartridge, all in good condition. <coughs> Still recovering from a bit of a cold jump. So everything's there. So two Coleco titles that very much looking forward to having a game of. Um, but there's one more game in the box. <coughs> this is a game for the Atari 8 bits that I've been after a copy for ages. I've had my <coughs> eye on a loose copy that's been for sale for ages that was a fair bit of money, more than I'm willing to pay for loose copies of things. And then when I was buying <coughs> those two, because I've had my eye on the Star Wars for a little while, I had this copy, so fully boxed, complete, gyrus for the Atari 8 bits. And obviously in the earlier Packer Brothers boxes with the nice hard two-part box. So, you know, oh, that's very nice. They put a bit of bubble wrap inside so the cartridge doesn't jostle around. <coughs> There's the back. And this is supposed to be one of the best home versions of Gyrus. There's the cartridge. The cartridge is in really good condition. 
So I'm absolutely thrilled. I mean, I've got most of Atari 8 bit collection is just loose cartridges because <coughs> they, they don't come up very often. But this is a game that's fairly special to me. So being able to get this complete is uh, very nice indeed. I don't think there's much graphics inside the. Yeah, it's pretty much all text. I'm showing you a joystick controller, there's no screenshots or anything in there, but <coughs> everything is there. So we shall have to have a really good go and play all of these games <coughs> quite thoroughly because I'm going to enjoy every single one of them. All right. Well, let's go do that now. Oh, here we go, bump and jump. What I didn't know was that uh, you could use the driving controller as well. <clears throat> I haven't got that out at the moment and um, need to put a set of batteries in it, so we'll just go with the standard controller. I'm sure it'd be lots of fun with the driving controller. Did not actually realise that. Um, I'll play... I'll play level 2. I had a quick little game just to get started. Got a fair way. As much as it's nice doing long videos sometimes, it's better. So you've got to get rid of as many cars as you can. I do believe there's a bonus if you don't kill any cars. That's very hard to do. Oh, well, they're dropping all the slicks now because it's level 2, I suppose. And if you land on a car, you destroy it as well. So it's a fair bit of jockeying and... Whoop! Ah! <clears throat> Too slow. Now the levels are in patterns, so you can get to know them. The start with the jumps are fairly simple. Quite a bit of sprites flickering and swapping going on there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And too soon. You can move in the air too. I could have got over to that left hand side. Maybe I shouldn't have played level two. <laughs> ah. Come on, me. I've got to do a bit of this. I've still got two lives left though, so. Oh, goodness me. Maybe you're not jumping as far because of the. Um... Ah, because I wasn't going as fast, of course. Goodness me. Alright, we'll keep playing for a bit. It does have continue, which is great. Good game. Uh, practice and then stuff up. Oh. Well, maybe that means I make it over the jump. Yes, I do. Right. At least we're past where we were. Bonus for each of the cars you uh, if a knock off the course or land on top of. Um, you also get a bonus for how many jumps you land over the. Um, so you get a bonus if you do double jumps and things like that. Oh dear. <coughs> Reaction's not doing me too good today. So I do it again. That's a good fun game. We'll love this back in the day. Oh, there you go. This is the example of the bonus if you do a double jump. I only just.
Oops, no. Got done in by one of the slicks. Alright, well, let's keep going a bit more. So it's a great little game. Right. And obviously, as you know, most Coleco games, you don't just play them on level one. Because that's the intro. But quite good difficulty things. One good thing about the Coleco system was the multiple levels of difficulty that were available. those things coming out the back, I didn't realise they killed you, I thought they... Oh! And so after you get bumped, you actually lose control of your car for a little bit, so you've got to be very careful. Right, so at least you can see which cars have those black things in them. section. So very pleased to have this game. This is a good fun game. I reckon I'll be getting a, quite a bit of enjoyment out of playing this one. Oh, just missed out. Not sure if you can slow yourself down. Alright, I'll leave it at that because we've got a few other games to get through. So, very happy to have that game in the Coleco collection. Alright, let's try our next game. So here we go with Star Wars the Arcade Game. Um, well, let's get straight into it. Looking forward to this one. Okay, so we can choose our different bonus rounds and the controls are inverted. Fireballs. Just need to shoot the ships to save myself. Ooh, we've got a couple of ships. Right now, we do a trench run. Death Star Destroy! One and two. I just got hit there just at the end. Cool. Maybe I 
Oh. There's almost shields this, right? sides of the um, trench or anything. Oh, I got it this time. This took it. Again, Whew, still alive. So it's not the best version of Star Wars, but it's not bad. Thirty-seven thousand and six hundred and forty-four on my first go. I'm not too unhappy with that. So it's not a bad version. It takes a little bit of getting used to the controls. Hurt my thumb a little bit. That's not too bad. Obviously, most lacking is probably the sound effects. Um, but it's still not a bad version of Star Wars. Um, had I had access to it back in the day a bit more, I probably would have enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, I'll definitely be playing it some more. 
All right, let's get the Atari 8-bit fired up and play Gyrus. Right, so here we go with Gyrus on the Atari 8-bits. I actually have to get out my Atari 800XL. Uh, my 800XE would not run it. Let's see how we go. This is supposed to be a pretty good version.